morning up. We've got a uh, little jenny here that mate Jim give us. Clearing out a garage, come across this. So we'll see if it uh, see if it goes. Well, it's 780 watts. Engine switch. Um, I presume that's the uh, the uh, the choke. It's got nothing in it, so I'll give it a bash to start with. It could do a bit of a clean up. It said it was working. Probably need coming off because it's a bit on the. I don't know if there's a spring in there, but it's, uh, when you pull it all the way out, it takes ages to go back in. What's this? On. On. A bit of choke. some two stroke and I need to make some two stroke for it see if we can get it going if it goes it would be right if it goes it just need a clean up then wouldn't it where's my ear there we go right I need to go and peel for some petrol out of one of the bikes so I'll be back in a minute First, you know, really. I should, I should have checked for leaks. Somehow to stop that from leaking. Yeah. Should have checked before. Well, I wouldn't have known, would I? Wouldn't have known. Wouldn't have known it was coming out of there with that. Well, has this come off? I'd like to be able to take all that off first. Uh -huh. All right. See the. Uh, the on, the on and off. You can't see it. Right, so the 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 petrol tap is broken away from the tank. It's uh, I've never never have got it going. So I'll need a new one of those to start with. That's literally snapped snapped off the tank there you go look so it's actually snapped off the tank maybe I can get one of those Triumph ones to fit in there they're about the same size all right so take it apart I suppose
take this top off first anyway because this because of this thing here. screws yeah, it might well need another tank because the uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get and I don't know if I'll be able to get inside there to hold the nut on the other side. There's not enough room, I don't think, to get down into that. They might have to invest in a, another tank of sorts. See, see when we get there. Springy thing wants a bit of oil in there. That's alright. Still got a bit of compression, so that's alright. Right, let's take nuts off the other side without. Uh, it's a bit that way up. Drift right there. After. Fucking hell, there's nothing to it, is there? Nothing to it. I think most of it's the bloody. Uh, Magneto or alternator, whatever it is. Yeah, it's got to be the old uh, the choke. Tiny weeny coil. Awesome. And there's the petrol feed. We might just. We could just stick a. Uh, <laughs> external supply onto that. Can't we? Guess we can get another one of them, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll. Uh... Uh, what's the battery life? 
can't tell. I've got to get the generator going so I can charge the battery up on this camera. <laughs> Let me just empty this. Em empty this and I'll come back and we'll see what we can do with that bit of metal in there. The same thread. The extractors didn't do anything. Probably made it worse if anything. I'll be back in a bit. The other day I've got the um the uh, the rest of the thread taken out of the which had broken off in the thread in the uh, petrol tank. So I bought a new, bought a new um, petrol tap. I uh, bought actually I bought two of these on eBay. On eBay there was six pounds six fifty or something like that for two. But on the uh, the website where you get the um, the spares, uh, I can't think of his name. There's <coughs> a bloke uh, that does all all uh, spares for generators and stuff and he wanted 19 quid for this he wanted 19 pound plus four pound shipping and you can get two off eBay for six pound fifty they're m10 by one threads on these 19 quid it's unbelievable isn't it so it wants to be something like that Reasonably tight, I think. Off. Now we stick it on the. Let's hope the old battery ain't going to run out. Let's see if we can stick it on the generator. Oh, battery exhausted for fuck's sake. There was a couple of other things that I've done before I um, uh, I changed the coil. I was getting a reading off the uh, the, the, the um, primary resistance on the coil, but I was getting nothing from the secondary res uh, secondary resistance. I was getting nothing nothing out of there at all. So that coil was pretty dead. Put a new spark plug in it, like you do. So that's all done really. Just take the old coil off, two wires out, new coil in, two wires back on. Uh, what have we got? Try and get this. Try and get this petrol pipe. Try and get that petrol pipe on the, the tap. <laughs> so, easy, easier than it looks. Harder than it looks. I mean, I think I might need. I'm gonna take this off to get to that. Pliers.
bikin Don't seem to be leaking. For a freebie, works. So I'm quite impressed with that. That or uh, better sell it to somebody with an EV. <laughs> uh, be right around the garage, I think. I'll be able to um, use some uh, tools around here. Maybe get me compressor around here and have a mess around with it. Spraying around here. Cups of teas. Proper cups of teas. Now. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one, wherever that may be.